I'm noticing a few things that keep getting people tripped up with their posture and making specific corrections. And I want to talk about those today and give you some extra solutions so that you can make those changes right now. Let's get into it. Welcome back friends and if this is your first time, my name is Ashley Osier and I'm the Posture Specialist. If you want to improve your posture, decrease pain and enhance your overall wellness, make sure to click that subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss anything. The first thing that I have been noticing is body weight. I am noticing body weight to the right, to the left, I'm noticing body weight forward, standing, and in a seated position. You really want to be checking that kinetic chain, noticing when you're standing those four different points on the feet. I have a video for that. I will leave that up here or at the end, so make sure to check that out. I have another video that talks about the different things that you do that increases body weight, either forward or back or left to right, so you wanna check that one out. I'll leave that up here. Remember, when you are shifting your body weight, that is putting you off balance. So if you're trying to exercise one and you're trying to have bilateral equality in both sides, but you're shifting your body weight to one side or the other, you're not gonna be even. So those muscles are not going to be developing evenly. Something to really, really think about. The other thing to keep in mind with your body weight distribution is fall risk. If you're coming off of a step or you're getting up out of bed, believe it or not, it happens, your body weight is going to make a big difference in how you step and how you balance and how you recover from a trip. And I'm gonna tell you in a couple of minutes some things to look out for to make sure that you're lining yourself up. The next thing is the throat lock. So I see a lot of people still forward in front of these shoulders. And remember, we want that shoulder in line with the elbow, in line with the wrist, the hip, the knee, the ankle. Okay, I have that video what is good posture you guys can check that out if you have an excessive lordosis in the spine that's tightening these muscles in the back you will be more apt to put the head back instead of pulling the throat back this will be your orientation you'll have a tendency to actually do that so you want to watch it just know yourself know your body know where you're tight and know what's pulling on what and where you're challenged so that you can make those corrections. Keep that chin nice and lined up like a plane. So you're just nice and straight. So nice and even on that chin, taking the middle of the throat and pulling that back, making sure you're nice in line with the ears and the shoulder, at least the front of the shoulder, without leaning your body backwards. So when you're standing, if you find that you're really super straight, but you're leaning forward or you're a little rounded here. So you're collapsing at the diaphragm, right? So this makes it, this makes it all the difference. So if you're leaning forward, the head is still gonna kind of be forward. So pull it back, diaphragm lock, throat lock. And now I have a detailed throat lock video. If you have not seen that yet, I'm gonna leave that up here for you. Please make sure that you review it, practice it, watch it over and over again. In our day and age with all the computer stuff, we really, really need to make sure that we're getting that throat locked down. Okay, so let's get that done. The first thing is that you wanna check yourself in a mirror. So if you don't already have a mirror, I always tell my clients and my students, get a mirror, work out in front of a mirror, practice your posture work in front of a mirror, whatever you're doing, try and do it in front of a mirror. The second thing that you can do is since we're doing Zoom now, utilize that Zoom so that you can look and see yourself and see what you're doing to make sure that you're making the optimal choices. The third thing is to check the furniture behind you, either in the mirror or in your Zoom, when you're in meetings or if you're just doing your workout, you can check to see, do I have something behind me that has horizontal lines to check to make sure that my shoulders are even across 
or do you have vertical lines to make sure that you are straight down the center? So these are things that you can check. I've got my posture grid behind me, or I've got my shoji screen. I've got my acupressure poster here. I've got my workout bench down here that can check the lower part. There's all different kinds of things that you can use that's behind you to check to see how you're lining up. If you don't have anything behind you and you just have a blank wall, get some tape. Line it up in a vertical and horizontal line for yourself. Behind you, place your mirror or your zoom in front of that so that you have a nice visual on yourself and then start to do some of your exercises and stretches. The next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is movement and exercise. When you're doing movement and exercise, if you are not bilaterally equal, meaning your forward, back, left, or right, it is going to be harder for you to actually be aware of what's going on. So for example, I have a client that I've been working with and when she starts to walk, all of a sudden her body comes forward. It's just a natural thing that she has been doing for many years. And as a result, it has lent itself to her body naturally being forward. So what we're doing is we're working consciously and intentionally on getting her on those four points on her feet so that her body weight is distributed more evenly and she's more conscious and more even and more stable. And then utilizing all of the correct muscles to give her the best fitness when she's walking as possible. Similarly, when you are working out, when you're taking a class that's a workout class where you're actually lifting weights, it's hard for you to think, I've got to lift this weight and I have to make sure that I'm even across both feet and I'm moving my legs and I'm rotating my hips. There's all different things that you could be doing in a class or just exercising and in fitness in general that is not going to help you to really be thinking about how you're lining everything up. So here are some tips to help you to optimize your corrections while you're doing these things. The first thing that you wanna be doing is moving slowly. When you move slowly for postural corrections, it's gonna help you to be more conscious of what you're doing and it's gonna help you to build muscle memory and help your body to adapt correctly into those corrections. The next thing that you wanna do is to have focused workouts. If you can have your isolated muscle exercises instead of your compound muscle exercises just for your first three to six weeks so that you can adapt implementing the three lock mountain into all of your exercises that will help you to become more aware and more conscious of where you're placing your body weight if you have bilateral inequality and if you're not really engaging that throat lock or the diaphragm lock or the pelvic lock. So if you don't have a teacher that's giving you postural cues and you're in a big class and you're just working out and you're doing all the movements, I've had a few clients come to me who've gotten injured, unfortunately, in some Zoom classes because they weren't able to really fully be aware of themselves. I wanna encourage you, just take a step back, focus on your postural corrections, the exercises that you need to do for your body Make sure that you're fully stable and you're lined up before you start taking some Zoom classes that don't have an instructor that's giving you postural cues that are specific to your postural discrepancies or dysfunctions. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was really helpful for you. Make sure to smash that like button subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified when I upload my next videos. Don't forget, I have weekly classes for postural correction. I have those listed on my website and you can check that out. I'll leave that information in the description box down below or you can click on the icon on my YouTube channel page.